What's up guys, I'm DK Wrestler and in today's video we're going to be going on a Funko Pop hunt. So for today's Funko Pop hunt we're going to go to the usual two spots that I normally go to in my city. That being Walmart and then GameStop and it will go in that order considering that I feel like Walmart like usual will not have that great of stock. But then at GameStop I actually did get a call from them saying that I have a pre-order. So even if there isn't anything on the shelves that I'm looking for, I have something waiting for me and I'll show you guys near the end of the video. So let's get right to it with our very first spot being Walmart. All right, so we are inside of Walmart. And of course, like usual, we have literally the exact same stock as a couple weeks ago. Just missing that Gollum from Lord of the Rings or Smeagol, I can't remember, but we still got the Rhaenyra Targaryen from House of the Dragon, Diamond Collection, lots of Fennec Shan. Of course, a bunch of Black Adam Pops right here. The abundance of Minions Mystery Minis that no one will ever buy. The concert moments for Run DMC. The 10 inch Pops that no one's ever gonna buy. And then there's also the comic covers from the last time we were here of Aquaman and then the Walmart exclusive Green Lantern. All right, so we are inside of GameStop and I noticed a couple of new Pops here since the last time I was here. First one being one of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Pops of Kraglin, which looks really cool. A really cool mold compared to the original ones they made for the two previous movies. And then the Pops involved in the set are here on the back, including Star-Lord, Groot, Drax, amongst some other cool ones, especially Cosmo. And then I guess right here is the Groot Pop, which is really, really cool to see in person and speaking of Groot we have a pop from I am Groot which is Groot with detonator which looks really cool the detonator kind of looks like a uh, like a like a basket of some sort and got some really cool detail with the headphones and well not really headphones well it kind of is the earmuffs I guess because you don't want your eardrums popping after an explosion and you got the safety glasses and that nice explosion in the back and here are some of the other pops involved in the wave on the back which there's some pretty cool ones here. One of the other pops I noticed here is Oshawa from the Pokemon lineup which is really cool to see here and I'm surprised it's not in the Pokemon section because GameStop likes to put their Pokemon pops with the Pokemon section. So we got SB on Oshawa and Munchlax in this set. And it's looking like I'm only seeing the Oshawa over here. Unless, like I mentioned, the other ones are chilling over at the other section of Pokemon stuff. And then the rest of the section is looking the same as I seen it either a week or two ago with some Dragon Ball. We got some of the Flash Pops, Five Nights at Freddy's, Dungeons and Dragons, Luck, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Yeah, it's looking like the same stuff. And then I guess I'll show off the Biddy Pops here since they are here at GameStop here in Canada. And this is one that has Goofy, Chip, and Minnie Mouse, unlike I believe the last time we showed one off, it was uh, I believe the top row there with like Minnie, Minnie, and uh, Pluto and then you have your chance at one of those. So this is a different set compared to the other ones that we had seen in previous videos. And as we are in the Pokemon section, I noticed a Mew Pop right there, but I noticed a 10 inch Munchlax. That was a Target Con exclusive here in Canada. Now with a very giant special edition sticker compared to the ones we've been seeing on newer Pops as of late, which is really cool to see Munchlax in person considering that I didn't see the four inch Pop on the shelf. So there's the back again with the same wave that we just looked at. Pretty cool to see this. All right, so I am back from Funko Pop hunting, and we did pick up the one pop, but before we show off that pop, I thought, you know what, that wasn't really too much of a Funko Pop hunt for you guys, and we actually had some footage stored from a pop hunt that we never ended up releasing, so we might as well show off those clips in this video today and then get to the one pop that I got at GameStop. MD Shady was also a part of this pop hunt, so you may hear him during the video also. All right, so now we're arriving at Sunrise Records and it doesn't seem like much is new besides a couple of pops down here. We have Bianca Belair from WWE. That's pretty sweet, I really enjoy her. And we have some of the Sopranos pops. I definitely haven't seen all of these in person, so it is cool to see them here. We got the pop for the Godfather. Uh, what else do we have here? We got the Bella Porch there, that Riley and Jonesy's two-pack always here. And then here's a pop that I haven't seen in person either is the Devil's Throne from Cuphead. That's pretty sweet looking. I mean, there's not a ton that's new here. I don't know about these luck pops here. We got uh, Jeff, 
Sam, the captain, and Sam as Leprechaun. But besides that, there's not a ton, but there are some other sections for Funko Pops. And then right here, we kind of have an Iron Maiden display with a bunch of the albums. And right there, we have the four pack, which looks pretty sweet and is glow in the dark. So uh, what's the price on this, honestly? Let's see here. Uh... I'm not seeing a price on here. All right, so we are on our way to Walmart and we don't go to this Walmart often, but we've noticed that a lot of Walmarts here in Canada have actually been getting some cool stock of exclusive items. And one of those items that we may think might actually be at this specific location is the Gizmo Pop VHS covers that recently released. And I know Top Ops, I think, actually got that pop from this location, so we're gonna have to see if it's inside of there or not. All right, so here's what the section is looking like at Walmart. We got lots of Thenas from Eternals, some of the, or not some, but <laughs> almost all of the Marvel Luchador pops. We got some random ones like Claude Giroux from the Philadelphia Flyers, Jordan Peele, Wonder Woman, Fall of Sinestro, uh, some White Men Can't Jump, Shazam. We even got some pops from Lightyear, which is interesting, but I already have those, so I can't get those today. But something that I never got to show off in a previous video, but I did see a couple weeks ago, is the 2022 Winter Convention exclusive Joker Pop Comic Covers, which is a really cool covers. Too bad it wasn't into DC, or else I'd probably get this cover, because this looks really awesome. And then right here are some more of the Rock Lock, or Lock Lock. Walmart exclusive pops from My Hero Academia. Still lots chilling here if you're looking for a lock lock. And then I noticed shoved right in the back there is one of the Green Lantern Walmart exclusive covers. But then we also see some of the common Aquaman covers like we've seen in the recent Pop Hunt video that we did. All right, so now after showing you guys that unreleased Funko Pop Hunt, here is the one pop that I got at my local GameStop. And I feel like there's only one way that I can, I don't know, introduce what I got. Ring the bell. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, now entering DK's Funko Pop collection from Adelaide, South Australia. She just recently won the SmackDown Women's Championship. It's mommy herself, Rhea Ripley. Announcing, eh? Anyways, guys, I had gotten the Rhea Ripley pop for the WWE lineup, which talk about a little bit late timing because WrestleMania night one and two happened this past weekend. And I mean, I wish this pop would have released just before she won the SmackDown Women's title from Charlotte Flair on night one. So here is the front of the box. We got the number 122 in the WWE lineup with the pop WWE logo. You got the pop art form right there of mommy herself, Rhea Ripley, along with her name. And then a front view of the pop, which we will be taking this out of box to show you guys what it looks like. We got the name of Rhea Ripley here on the side with the pop WWE logo, number 122. And then a bit of a pop art form of Rhea Ripley herself right there. And then on the back of the box, you do get a nice picture of Rhea Ripley herself right on the top there. Number 122, pop WWE, the pop art form along with the part of the wave that it's in, which it's mixing two waves now, as I realized, involving with what's shown on the back, because you got Jerry the King Lawler, Dusty Rhodes, Riddle, and Randy Orton, which is one different wave, and then you have Rhea Ripley and then Ricky the Dragon Steamboat that are actually a part of a different wave. So I'm really surprised that they added like two waves involved in the back of the box instead of showing up the newest wave that was announced. And then here is the side of the box here of Rhea Ripley. It shows her name, the number 122, the pop art form with the nice red background, and of course the pop WWE logo. Alrighty, so here is the Rhea Ripley Funko Pop out of the box, which surprisingly this pop does not have a stand because normally with women's wrestlers they have stands because of their like skinny legs usually but with Rhea Ripley I mean she got thick thighs she's saving lives with them so I guess she don't need a stand so there's a closer view of her face I love the detail involved with her purple eyeshadow she's got that like I don't think it's a real tattoo it's just one of those like not even one of those ones that you put water on and stick on your face it's just a little bit of a little bit of a paint artwork there of uh, like the little, what is it, like the weighing mechanism. And then it's kind of hard to see, but I do like the detail of 
the nose rings that she's got. She's got two of them hanging off on each side, but then she basically has, what is it called, a bull ring would be the proper term, right uh, in between of her nostrils there. So that's really cool. And the fact they added a mouth because of course she does wear black lipstick as a part of Judgment Day. You do got the earrings right there or more of the spacers, which is really cool on each of the ears. And then her attire right here is pretty decent, uh, all black. She's got a nice pose and I really like the detail of how they pulled off the tattoos. There we go, it's a bit better when it's that far away, but man, they pulled this off really good. Uh, pretty simplistic pose and I'm just trying to give you guys more of a 360 view right here while I'm also looking at the pop that's really cool and then even I'm looking through the camera the way they pulled off her hair is awesome mommy looks good in Funko Pop form anyways guys that's gonna be the end of today's video if you enjoyed today's Funko Pop hunt make sure to like comment and subscribe let me know what pops you would have gotten during this Funko Pop hunt and hope to see you guys in the next video one, two, three, I'm out of here.